At the store, I met a skinny and freezing dog. The dog didn't ask for anything, just lay curled up in a ball, but I couldn't pass by. Entering the store with my shopping list, I added half a kilo of chilled chicken legs. I approached the dog and lured her behind the store, where I offered my treat. The dog started eating, and I backed away. What happened next was a real shock to me. Immediately I heard the dog growling and a woman's shout. Turning around, I saw a 70-year-old grandmother taking the chicken legs from the dog. Hurrying to the woman, I asked her why she was doing this. In response, the grandmother began to shout at me at the top of her voice. What is going on? People can't buy meat, and she's feeding it to the dog. I bought this with my own money and can give it to whoever I want. If you care so much about the hungry, sell your gold ring and buy them food, and put the legs back, I bought them for the dog. After this conversation, I was bombarded with a stream of abusive language, which I am even ashamed to retell. I remembered this encounter very well, as it was a discovery for me that there can be so much malice in a person. It's hard for me to understand how one can take food from an animal, especially knowing that it doesn't have a home or people caring for it. How can one scold those who help homeless dogs survive by giving them food? Homeless animals pose no threat to people, but in our country, they are often depicted as evil and cruelty towards the defenseless is encouraged. Why did a friend, the dog, suddenly become an enemy to humans? And why has it become an honorable activity to offend the weak? I can't find answers to these questions, 